Hello. <laughs> Here we are in Puerto Rico with a wonderful group of people from Vermont, and particularly Goddard College. And we have been sharing a great time planting around and having fun too. <laughs> uh, playing music. And most important of, of this is to share our souls, you know, in this beautiful land of Puerto Rico. And Robin has asked me to to tell you more about our plants here in Puerto Rico, in this farm. And we are uh, interested in developing an institute for agroecology and the idea is to invite people from all around the world to come here to help up help us for the development of this institute and we strongly believe that to develop something as we are planning to develop we need people we need people who has the commitment uh, the commitment for conservation of nature and people who has the commit commitment of working with others with the community also we believe uh, that it is very important to have a, a core group with this commitment because this is the the main energy that we need for the development of this kind of project. Here we have gained a lot of experience because we began about eight years ago to work with this community in Barranquitas and at the beginning we came here and we invite people to come and to participate in the project. But what happened is that there are people who are too, how could we say, uh, who are distract. I don't know if that's the correct word, <laughs> but that who have been for a long time, you know, unemployed, uh, living with welfare, in welfare, and uh, who are just expecting that politicians come uh, to solve their problems. These people, well, they were expecting that the, the project that they were organizing here in Barranquita was another welfare institution. <laughs> And we have we have to deal with this kind of mentality. Uh, this was a big problem because we were always making explanations, you know. That was a lot of energy. And in the in in our project also we, we had a bad experience that was the product of this kind of mentality. I'm not going to enter in details about the, the experience we, we, we had, but it was really a, a bad one. Uh, we need to recover from that experience. But we did it, and we are again, you know, uh, to continue our project. But something that we learn is that if you want to develop, it's our position, if, we, if, you, if you want to develop a project to work with the community, to, to transform, you know, how things have been uh, doing around, 
you need this core group you need to have always the correlation of forces on your side and we believe that this is something that is possible if people who have overcome problems or people who has the commitment you know uh, to work in, in a project that is interested in the uh, to put people aware of ecological who are committed for the quality of life uh, who could share their love you know, that with this core group of people then you can develop your, pro your project and also then after that begin again to invite people other uh, places um, from the community around again but having you know, this core group of people, this correlation of force, as I said, on your side, you know, and you don't have then to deal with all this mentality that of that is the, the in, is the the product of low self esteem, you know. We understand that in Puerto Rico we have to work hard with a low self esteem of people. People who their parents maybe were workers, good workers, you know, who were related with the agriculture, but they are no more related with them. And the people who think that agriculture is in crisis, people who are there, they are, what they see is just the grocery store with food that is import from from other countries and they are not more producing you know their food in Puerto Rico people who believe that there is no possibilities you know no more possibilities and we want to work with this, these people it's not a matter that we want to create here like a like a club you know with the with the developed you know souls or evolved people that's not the idea you know we want to work with the community with their problems and with their realities but help to do that we realize that you know we cannot do this alone and I remember when the Pope said that Cuba should open its doors to the world and the world should open to Cuba. I strongly believe that Puerto Rico should open its doors to the world and the world should open its door to Puerto Rico. And with this spirit that we have been uh, experienced <laughs> in these days with this group of people of you who come from Vermont and have been around this farm and you have, have uh, had the opportunity of walking around this farm and have had the opportunity to see the beauty of this farm, you know, the possibilities of this place. We have gained a lot of experience. We have seen that it's possible to, to share, you know, to share our souls in the common de denominator of the responsibility of human beings. I, in particular, you know, 
I have experienced, you know, the opportunity of being with you, a group of people, who I believe that we have too many things in common, you know, uh, and that I feel that I'm real a citizen of the world, you know, I am Puerto Rican, I was born here, you know, but, you know, you come from Vermont, and you come here, I mean, immediately, you know, we feel that there is chemistry, you know, between us. Why? Because you come here because you are interested also in work with people, in work to, to stop the destruction of the natural resources, to work uh, to produce uh, good food, you know, so important for the world, which is so important for the world. And we share all this mentality. Well, our idea is to continue doing that. And we are now in the process of creating an institute, as we could call uh, Institute uh, for agroecology, agroecology, and to continue inviting people to come here. Now we are in the stage of designing uh, cabins and places to, for people to, who could stay for a long time, for example, a semester or, or a whole year working with us. And with this, group of people, then we are planning to to organize uh, summer camps with children and also to work in the farm uh, doing agriculture. Also we want to organize uh, workshops, uh, seminars for the weekends. In that way, we understand that is the best way to really impact the community, and uh, in that way also, we believe that is the the best way to for transforming our society, in particular our close community. One experience that we are having now is that. There is this far, uh, farmer who lives near to us, who is working here, you know, but is, he's working in a, a kind of arrangement where he's not an em employee, and he's not an employer, you know. He is his... Uh, companion, you know, he's uh, working with, with farming and we are sharing, you know, uh, we are participants now of this kind of project where in which he plant, he crops, about I could go his products, but helping him, you know, he's, he's giving to an area of greenhouses, which is a, a big area. And it's an area that needs this kind of maintenance. And the only way to, to give that maintenance was a lot of money. Because it was an area that was prepared before when we began to create and was affected by this bad experience we we and we realize that in kind of arrangement you know, that we help each other you know, that is helping us to give maintenance to the greenhouse but at the same time he's using the greenhouse to plant he don't have to pay anything like that, you know he's paying okay he's 
with his work, you see, but not, it's not a way of paying with money, you know, there is no money in the middle. We, I help him, you know, I go to the market with his products, I sell his products, and I give him his money, you know, and he, he doesn't have to pay me, you know, because I go to the market, you know, I just, it's a matter of sharing every time, you know, sharing. And we realize that this man now is very excited about what is happening around. He has developed also a commitment for the project. And that is the way we want now to continue working, you know. Obviously, this man is no more in the kind of welfare mentality, you know. And it's not a matter that that we are saying that welfare is is bad as a whole, it's not that what we are saying. And we have to make this sure because we know that in the United States there is a movement that say no more, no more welfare. You know, I think that people, there are people, some people who really need you know welfare. And in Puerto Rico it's the same, you know. You have a mother with five children, you know. <laughs> working hard in her, her, her house, you know, her home, and there is no possibility, because probably she will need welfare, but welfare to help to develop, you know, to to evolve, not to, how do you say, down her, you know, to, to, to put her self-esteem low, you know, that's not what we believe, you know, we believe that we should help people, but help people to help themselves, you know, that is our main idea, of our plans are, are very, how can I say, broad, you know, <laughs> We have a lot of plans, you know, and we are really very excited of what we are doing, you know. And we know that this is a matter of going step by step, you know. And this is a matter also of an ongoing evaluation of what we are doing to really become this strength, you know. And we are very complacidos in Spanish, you know. Is the word I don't even right now that you are visiting us, you know, that you are here with us, that you come from Vermont and you have been sharing of us, you know, our project, that you have become part of our project, and our ideas is that one day people could, could come from Goder as a regular base, uh, basis and could come here maybe for, for a, a, an off-campus program uh, to get credit by participating here in Puerto Rico in this project. And in that way we can develop a project that is really is going to impact our society. I think that we have we have been in part of our society already. And so another point that I want to, to share with you is this project the the main activities are agriculture but we want also to invite people who are doing who are working in other areas in art, for example. I remember visiting a, a, a project in Mexico, in Chiapas, you know, that area that now is in struggle. People are struggling, but they are struggling because they, they know that, that their rights, they, they need to struggle for their right. And I visit this project in Mexico, in Chiapas, where people used to go there to work in greenhouses 
to plant uh, trees, you know, that Chiapas, they have this Lacandonian uh, forest, or, and the big companies were cutting trees, you know, and they were just destroying the, the, the area. Uh, this woman, she was from Switzerland, she organized this institute where people used to go from all around the world, people from the United States, people from Europe, people from the rest of Latin America, and they used to go there and they used to work in houses. Uh, with the seeds, new seeds, and planting trees for the recovery of the of the area, and that was the common de denominator of all the people who used to go there to work. You know, the common denominator was that they had to work a few hours in the greenhouses. But I remember people who who went there because they were playing music and they were making compositions. And I remember one woman who was studying piano and she was also interested in knowing more about Mexican music. And she went there and she was most of the day playing piano. <laughs> but part of the day she was working in the greenhouse. I remember a man who was doing sculptures and he was walking around knowing people, you know, knowing more about and working in his but part of the day he went and and there was this kind of cultural activity, you know, art everywhere. And they were participating, these people who are participating in uh, teaching children, you know, to work with sculptures, to play the piano, you know. Uh, the woman who was playing the piano, she was giving concerts too for the community. But everybody were, they were doing, you know, the responsibility that we need to share for the recovery of nature that we know that human being has been active destroying. And that was a place I remember that still, you know, the spirit of people was so strong. Every everybody were like brothers, you know, and sisters. And uh, I remember that, that project. We want to develop a, this kind of project in Puerto Rico. See, this is why it's our main idea. And uh, we want to, to really share with people from all around the world. And that means mean that all the people from all around the world are welcome to come to Puerto Rico, to Barranquita. We're going to go to the rainforest. 
forest.